Why should I work towards or why should I attain mukti and get myself liberated from births? Do you see that you seem to be, you're not dead sure about it, but you seem to be something more than this body and this mind? You're not sure, but it seems like that, isn't it? So would you like to know what it is? Why should I know? Well, you feel like that till life knocks you upon your head. Suppose you have to die next moment. Hmm? You'll die one day, do you know this? Huh? You will die one day. I am not wishing. <laughs> you will anyway die. I'll bless you with a long life, but still you will die. With my blessing, without my blessing, you will still die. Is it okay? Is it okay? You will die. Suppose that death is next moment. Will you go joyfully? Now, why should I liberate myself? This is not my idea or your idea. The life within you is always longing to go beyond limitations. Whatever is your present limitation, liberate yourself from that. Whatever is your present compulsion, liberate yourself from that. You will notice there's a next level of compulsions. You liberate yourself from that, you will notice a next level of compulsion. If you liberate yourself continuously like this, some point there must be a point where there is no other compulsion within you, isn't it? Is it your desire to live in limitations and compulsions? You can settle for it because you don't have the energy to go. You may say, this is okay. If I just lock you up in this hall, if you are tired and sick, you will say, Sadhguru, just two meals a day, if you give me, I don't mind, I will sleep here only, no problem. But if you are young and energetic, no, you want to do something, you want to dig through the earth and go away, yes or no? If you lost all enthusiasm and energy for life, you will say, Sadhguru, throw some food at me, I will just sleep here for the rest of my life. I don't want liberation, I don't want nothing. I don't want to step out on the street, just give me some food, I will sleep here, lie down here and die. That is if you lost it all. If life is throbbing within you, you are not willing to settle for that, isn't it? Yes or no? So if life is throbbing within you, you are not willing to live within any limitation or any compulsion, it doesn't matter how pleasant it is. If I decorate this very good and give you good food, don't go anywhere, you will be locked right here. Very good food, well decorated space, you can't go anywhere. Will you stay here? No. If you are sick and tired, you will stay. If you are alive and energetic, you will not stay, isn't it? That's all it is. If you are alive and energetic, liberation is a natural longing. If you are sick and tired, Limitations are okay, as long as somebody gives me something, I'll hang around and go. Doesn't matter, there's one more life or no more life. Is it not important that you go beyond your limitations and your compulsions? This is not somebody's concept, this is the longing of every life. Either it finds conscious expression or unconscious expression, that's all the choice you have. You have no choice to decide whether I want to be free or not. You have no choice whether I want liberation or not. You anyway long for it. If you long for it consciously, it may find fulfillment. If you long for it unconsciously, you will do all kinds of freaky things. In the name of freedom, you will get drunk. In the name of freedom, you will do drugs. In the name of freedom, you will jump off the mountain and smash yourself. People have done all these things in pursuit of freedom, haven't they? Yes or no? But if you do it consciously, you may find fulfillment. If you do it unconsciously, you may just get lost in the process. I'm just talking about doing your life consciously. I'm not talking about doing something else. I'm just talking about doing the same life process as consciously as possible. Because if you do it consciously, it'll find fulfillment.